Hey, did you guys see that one Batman movie where where Bruce Wayne, who's who's Batman, was thrown into that underground prison that's shaped like a pit, and it was it was apparently impossible to escape from this pit, but the only way to try to escape would be to scale up the steep high walls of the pit. The problem though was that the last portion of the wall there was this this ledge and you had to leap out from that ledge far enough in order to grab a hold of this other ledge that was a little bit higher and then you would pull yourself up on the other ledge and then that would lead to the way out of the pit. But if you missed the second ledge then you would fall hundreds of feet to your death. And apparently everybody in the history of that prison who had previously tried to make that leap, they died while trying. So the prisoners jimmy rigged this rope that you could tie around your waist and it would safeguard you against falling all the way down to your death. So Batman tries to make the escape. He puts the rope around his waist. He climbs up, he gets to the ledge. He uses his Batman strength to jump from that ledge to the other ledge, but he kept coming up short. However, the rope around his waist kept catching him before he hit the ground, although it was very painful. So he tries again and again, and each time he misses it, and he finally figures out it's impossible to make the escape. And then one of the inmates tells him, well, actually, Batman, there was one person who was able to escape by making the leap. And Batman's like, okay, well, what did he do differently? And they said, he didn't use the rope. So now Batman tries it again, except this time without the rope. And it's this really big dramatic scene. He's on the ledge. He runs. He leaps. He barely makes it. He pulls himself up and he escapes. And what this scene reveals is that it was the rope that was holding him back from making it, not his inability to leap from one ledge to the other. And so that rope to me represents what a fallback plan does to our, our passion, our purpose, right? When we want to achieve something big, when we want to live a life of purpose, we're taught that it's, it's very smart and intelligent to have a fallback plan in case it doesn't work out. What we forget though, is that a fallback plan by nature keeps us tethered to our comfort zone. And the big plan, the passion, the purpose, the dream, those live outside of our comfort zone. So if we insist on keeping the fallback plan in place, it's kind of like Batman and that, that rope. Right? Knowing that there is a rope to cushion us in case we fall will actually keep us from getting enough momentum to leap far enough outside of our comfort zone so that we can grab a hold of that big plan, the ledge, pull ourselves up and make it all work out. In other words, if you know you have something that will catch you, like Batman, you won't give it your all even though you think you're giving it your all. Let that land for a second. You won't give it your all, even though you think you're giving it your all. Eventually, you're going to have to untie that rope and make the leap without a fallback plan. So as a consequence, you'll increase your chances exponentially of jumping far enough out of your comfort zone into your growth zone which is where your purpose lives. And if you do fall because you have more momentum, you'll likely fall forward and not back. So this is pretty radical stuff, but if you want to do radical things, you're gonna to have to make radical moves. Playing it safe isn't gonna cut it. And deep down, you know that. If this resonates, Leave a comment, feel free to share with your followers, and as always, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you for watching. I add new videos daily, so make sure you click to subscribe so you don't miss out. And if you want to see the next insight, just click on over to the right. You can also follow me on Instagram at Light Watkins, and I look forward to seeing you next time.